Hi, in this video, we will have a look at how to assign a category to incoming emails. So let's start building the flow. So I'm using the Office 365 connector here. And the action step I'm going to use here is when a new email arrives. Okay. I'm going to put some subject filter here. So I'm going to do something called dev requirements. Okay. So the plan is when I receive an email with a subject, subject contains dev requirements, I need to assign a category to my email. Okay. So for this, we need to utilize the office 365 HTTP request. Okay. So next step, search for the office. You can see here office 365 groups. Here you can see send an HTTP request. Okay. Now, the URL we need to give here is this that is graph.microsoft.com version 1 slash me slash mail folders inbox messages slash the id of the message so click on the dynamic content and search for id so you can see the message id here okay and because we are going to categorize you know assign a category to the to the email which we received we need to use the patch okay that's a patch and then in the body we need this JSON format so my plan is if anything in the subject filter filter contains dev requirements I'm going to put my categories as developers so this is the way you need to assign it yeah so you can see like curly bracket categories then inside the square bracket double quotes developers okay then content type is application slash json right let me let, let me name my flow now demo email assign category okay right so now next what i'm going to do here is I'm going to click on the test manually and test okay so next I need to send an email to this email address okay so let me go and send an email now okay I just send an email you can see here in my subject I have got dev requirements my flow ran successfully so I'm going to open that flow now so that's a that's a flow I just uh, sent yeah to that address now so this is a address I'm capturing from my uh, connector so let me open my another email here it is I just received that um, email now uh, from and to and then it said uh, hi following on my dev requirements then I categorize that as developers see that that's the way you know you can assign a category to your email one thing I noticed here is if I add there is another send and HTTP request also therefore it's a preview version there so if I go back to the office 365 groups the version 2 preview one let me copy exactly the same content here patch then the category here right let me test this i'm going to utilize the platform feature here so it's automatically succeeded so i don't need to send another email let me see what happens
Here we go. So that's failed with uh, an error saying URI path is not valid. I given the exactly same path as this. So since this is a preview version, that could be the reason you know it is not quite right. So on for this purpose, you need to use send an HTTP request. The non-preview version, you need to use it. Okay. Another thing I want to test here is let me edit it. Okay, I'm going to del delete this step now because we know that's not going to work. Right here, I'm going to add um, another categorization also here, like uh, Microsoft. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. Okay, so I added another category uh, as for developers, comma, Microsoft. Let me open my email and see. Here it is. See, there are two categories there now under the dev requirements subject email. Yeah. Okay, so that's the way you assign your category to an email. Use a HTTP request, graph API we need to use here. The method you need to use here is a patch. Then inside the body, categories is a reserved word. You need to use this. Then inside square, square brackets, then you can use uh, your own categories. Hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.